it out. So today, um, now that the beard is gone, we're gonna see what it's like with this camera mount hung a little higher. Also, um, my strap for the, um, oh, the light's still on. Excuse me, guys. The strap for the uh, chest mount is in my wife's car, so we are um, we're gonna have to work without that for the first few calls until, well, actually, all day actually. Because it's in their car; it's not at the house, so I won't be able to get it, which is okay. We can make a lot of stuff happen with what we got. Um, let's see. Get some gloves on my hands. to work. Rain jacket. Covering up the... There we go. Um, so this this Lincoln, it's just got some transmission issues. So um, we are uh, transporting it to Atlanta. Um, customer says it runs. Even recommended me pulling it up onto the truck. And I'm cool with that have no issues with that whatsoever I need to do something with that today because that's that's a problem I can't have that I absolutely cannot have that I'll take it and move my hooks off my bed yeah I got to do something with that today I don't want them hooks touching the grass because I know they got some stuff on them yep get the hooks off the bed yeah typically all uh, I get in trouble for this. I gotta do, I gotta, I'm gonna wash this bed today. I have to. If that gets seen by any of the people at my job, I get in trouble and I definitely understand why. So I'm gonna do something with that today. Get all these straps to where they're ready to go. Good deal. y'all I try not to touch anything if at all possible nothing but what I absolutely have to and that's just the way I've always preferred to do these okay so on these your park reverse neutral drive okay I'm the Lincoln's I'm sure y'all know this but just go there all right these things are super nice y'all it's what my dad drives as a Lincoln I mean it's nothing new like this but my papa, my papa Lloyd Malone, that's what he drove. I got some videos, y'all, of me doing a, um, we have a big, grand, uh, awesome old grandfather's clock. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's one of the ones that you wind. Um, you have to stick the thing in the, there's three holes, and you stick them in there, and you wind it. Long story short, y'all, I, I got some video of me uh, doing that this weekend. And um, so if y'all want to see that, just maybe um, comment down below when I post this tonight. Like, yeah, man, post that. Because if you would like, I'll post that. Y'all, I try not to hardly touch anything on them cars, man. Um, especially, you know, because our gloves are usually nasty. Like, I know there's one YouTuber. I can't remember his channel, but he always wears, like, black gloves. Um, keeps his hands clean, and he's very aware of... All of the carcinogens and stuff that... See, I don't want to scrape this road here. So, yeah, he's, like, super aware of all the carcinogens that we deal with. And very savvy. He uses PPE to the fullest. So, look, I'm going to do this just because it makes me feel better. I won't put my glove on that. And I might even wipe that whenever we drop. Makes me feel better. All right. So, what we're going to do is pull it. The reason I have my cable off is I don't want my hooks hitting the front of this car. So, I've moved it over. Okay front tires are on now and we're just going to slowly go up the bed man this is super easy stuff once you get used to it at first i was a little scared about stuff like this y'all 
it did it made me nervous especially if it was like a longer or nicer vehicle but once you learn where you're at on your truck and stuff it does get a lot easier so now i know this has transmission issues so i'm gonna make sure the brake is on see that brake where it says brake that away in case something happens with this transmission i have one more extra thing uh stopping it before i have have to watch it do whatever it's gonna do because obviously i can't stop it all right here we go we're gonna knock out these two straps on this side of the road first because that's where i got out at and i'm trying to learn the little techniques all the little things that make it where you walk around the truck less i'm trying to uh, apply those and it's not because i'm lazy like i'm, I'm into fitness i want to be a fit person it's not that i don't want to walk around the truck it's just i would like to save my energy for when i get when i get home spend time with my wife and my family you know if i can have more of it there that's kind of what my goal is you know don't get me wrong i'll come here to get it i do not mess around at work but i also am learning how to conserve my energy at work don't wear myself out just like here's a good for instance mike may taught me this he says man roll your bed up before you put them back straps on he says you're killing yourself and look for the longest i was like i didn't even think that to be a thing you know so i sent him a message I'm like so what should i do and they're like lean your bed up almost all the way past get all the weight past the axle and then once you do that flatten it out almost all the way not completely leave a little bit of an angle they say also big john from um and dan lafayette too oh uh, there's i had several people tell me about this but those three in particular mike may um, big john and dan lafayette like those are the three main ones that are have been consistently giving me solid advice um also i got reeks i've got um reeks let's see who else um um oh there's so many reeks What's that other guy from Houston? Man, what's his name? Oh, he's a record driver. Goodness gracious, I can't remember his name. Um, his, I think he's a Hispanic dude, man. I can't remember. Oh, what is it? Oh, I'm trying to remember your name, brother. Man, I can't remember it. But uh, there's another dude, too, who was telling me about my winch cable. You know, and not... Um, well, they've told me a lot, but, you know, not... Not jerking the... Uh, the winch and so what they were saying is is whenever that happens like on my remote i was doing a winch out and on that winch out i was hitting the toggle button well you know the winch in and what happens is when you do that on your remote you have no you have no it's all or nothing on the remote right so with that when you're using that remote it makes it to where as soon as you hit that button as to where it goes slow right here, it's all the way down when you hit that button on that remote. And so he was like, Ugh, you know, don't do that. It's a good way to break your cable. And he's right. And you know what? Look at this. I got to change that. I can't have that pulling on that. So I'm going to run it underneath it. All right. solid that way the cables stationary we know that it's not going to be sliding around and then um you know anytime you're like this one's going a, a good ways i just want to make sure that and i've had to before y'all stop like halfway and tighten my straps um i do know that see now i'm going to flatten the bed out all the way because it's got me working. Yep. All right, so now I flip it all the way and then look. Now that that beard's not in the way, I'm wondering how high up y'all can see, you know? Because before, I had to keep the camera low. And they say to tighten it. I've been told to tighten it until you see it bite the tire. Just a little bit, y'all. It don't have to be crazy. Do one more on this one. Oh man, I wish I could remember the dude's name from Houston, man. <sighs> it stinks whenever 
I hate it whenever I can't remember people's names, especially the people that's helped me on the channel. Um, anyways, y'all, I hope that uh, y'all are being safe out there today. It is Monday. I have uh, been thinking of different ways to keep people watching, right? So, I guess what we will do for a little bit here is I will let y'all ride with me and see if y'all watch any of this. Um, and if y'all like it, man, hit a thumbs up and say more of this, please. And if you don't, that's fine. And keep in mind, you're rolling off my shirt right now. We're not, we're not rolling off of, uh, let's see. We're not rolling off of, uh, my chest mount, so it's a little bit shaky. Um, let's see. Air up. Oh, you know what? I gotta get, I gotta figure out something. I gotta get a GoPro, because this is, this is where I need to be able to roll and still have my phone. So yeah, y'all, I gotta get off this thing. What it will do is, is I'll, uh, I got an action camera. We'll have to figure something out so I can get some stuff on the road. I appreciate y'all watching. Okay, y'all, so unfortunately I did not get the video of this one. Well, I did get video of it loading it, but it stinks. The video is not gonna be usable. It, I had it on the wrong setting for the camera because I did make a mistake this morning getting out of the house. I forgot my mount, <clears throat> right? And so since I did that, my chest mount, and since I did that, um, I'm having to operate it off of my shirt, which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's kind of the way that I started when I first started this. But um, we're operating from the shirt sideways. So we'll have to see how y'all like that. I'm hoping that it's on the right side. Yeah, this should be okay. I feel pretty good about it. And then comment down below and let me know if y'all like this style because I can always flip the camera side to side on the chest mount as well. But some people like seeing the videos straight up and down on their phone. Some people like seeing the videos tilted sideways. So to each is his own. But I would like to see and hear from y'all how y'all like it. I know that my gloves don't match. I do believe the most important thing here is, is that the gloves are... Um, protecting my hands from whatever is on the uh, vehicle and straps and stuff, you know? And also the wires from the tires. Sometimes wires will get on. Ooh, look. Here's a perfect example. Sometimes, see this? See that wire? That's from a tire of a car, I believe, probably. And uh, what happens is, is if you don't have your gloves on man so i can show y'all some pictures i don't know if youtube will be like too happy about me showing y'all but i could show y'all some pictures of my thumbs um i think i've told the story but i'll tell it one more time i was on a two-timer for apd and i was out on a single two-time wreck two cars and it was just me by myself so i was gonna be i was doubling up i got the first one on my bed and then after i got the first one on my bed unfortunately I went to go and hook up underneath a um, dually F350, I believe it what it was, and man, y'all, that thing, it ripped my thumb open so bad. Hey, I'm going to show y'all some hook points real quick. Even though we're not using them right now, I still want to show you. So for this, here, all right, if you're going to be pulling that way. For the back, what we got. All right, and then on the back, there are some holes all along this, y'all, but I'm gonna be honest, none of these are the oval double slotted ones that um, the guys have told me about, but there are several here, okay? I'm gonna get a stand loaded. Sorry about the camera being crazy. My customer wants some drop pictures, which is always fine with me. I, uh, that always allows me the opportunity to um, let them know that there's, you know, gonna be video if they'll allow it. Um, there's different laws that we go by with this, so uh, what I try to do is make sure that if their vehicle is going on my truck, 
and I'm going to use the footage that I have their permission, right? So it's important for me and my company that I work for um, to keep them from getting in. Well, you know, honestly, I, I do believe that if I weren't doing something I weren't supposed to, that <clears throat> my boss wouldn't allow it, you know? So, like, he knows. They kind of trust the fact that um, I'm doing things the right way. He did ask me to not show, like, tags and stuff, and I respect that, you know? Um, the only ones that are shown are going to be ones that uh, the people know that they're, you know, they've done giving me permission and signed, and it makes it just easier for me. I do believe he said they were here. All right, so this is a brand new navigator, y'all. Um, it's got transmission problems, so on these you gotta hit reverse there. Beautiful car. All right, and I have the brake on, which we'll turn that off. You'll see it go off on the thing, and now it should back right up. I'm gonna unload it, and then I'm gonna get pictures, and I'm gonna send to my customer because that's what that's what we do. And and this is actually a request too. He wanted to see some drop pictures, which is perfect by me. Um, you guys know I'm all for it because I record all of my toes. All right. Wow, what a beautiful car. Y'all, I'm going to turn it off, though. I don't want it sitting here running while I pack up. Um, and then I had somebody ask me how I stow my stuff away while I'm riding. So, and then I do. Look, I'm still figuring out how I want to do it, right? So you can do it like this, they say. Look. And then I know, like, the most senior guys that I know, this is how they do it. Like, the people who've been doing this the longest, the more experienced people that I've met, they tend to do this more. Um, what is it? What is it? Like this? I've seen them do it like that. Okay. I think. And then I kind of prefer this. Right? I like... I like this. It works really well for me. As you can see, I've kind of already done that here. I don't do it as the same neatness every time, y'all. I'm a not uh, OCD or nothing. I'm ADD, which I believe is like the opposite. Um, and it's not something I do on purpose, y'all. It's just, if I promise you if I could help it and be a little bit more um, focused, I would. I just, unfortunately, y'all, we all have our hats. And mine is doing a lot of things at once, not focusing really hard on one thing. All right. Thank y'all for watching. Let me get this thing turned in and get my pictures and stuff. And guys, if you haven't already, smash that like button and um, give me a thumbs up and comment down below on uh, any tricks y'all may know about these Lincolns. Thank you.